हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू फेम वर्ल्ड एजुकेशनल हब माय सेल्फ ऐश्वर्या सक्सेना सो टुडे इन दिस लेक्चर ऑन डिजिटल मार्केटिंग वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम मोर स्टफ सो व्हाट एवर वी प्लान टू परचेज आइदर अ मोबाइल फोन और फर्नीचर और एनी अदर प्रोडक्ट और सर्विस वी यूजुअली गो टू द इंटरनेट एंड सर्च अबाउट दैट प्रोडक्ट on various e-commerce platform like Amazon, Flipkart, etc. Internet is now a very important part of our life. This is the reason that the marketing nowadays is going digital. Digital marketing is going trendy. So, the necessity of digital marketing is also increasing these days. The industry of digital marketing is already of 68 billion dollars. That is 5 lakh crore and is still growing. In India 60 crore plus internet users are already there and increasing 30 crore social media users are present and increasing every day 69% of users in their daily purchasing journey search the product on any search engine at least once 71% users purchasing is influenced by social media marketing Now talking about the digital advantages this is the reason that not only the big cities even the small towns small businessmen are also trying to understand the importance and how they can digitalize their market and their product and services how they can grow digitally lawyers professionals ca doctors teachers now everyone wants to digitalize everyone is trying to take the digital advantages so what do you understand by digital marketing term digital marketing is promoting the research and branding of any business on various digital platforms accessible by mobile laptop tablet etc like website social media like facebook instagram linkedin youtube google search google map blogs videos presenting the products and services of some brand towards its right audience and customers are increasing and increasing the sales is known as digital marketing digital marketing is the component of marketing that utilizes internet and other online based digital technologies such as desktop computers laptop mobile phones and other digital media and the platforms to promote the products and services Now coming towards the various steps in, involved in the digital marketing there are basically three main steps towards digital marketing the first thing that we need is an audience now audience is a group of people who like you who you are and what you have to offer they are the ones who will be buying our products or services often more than once for businesses and freelancers they are their income for digital marketers they are the results their clients and are looking for the second step is the platform platform is the foundation this is where we are going to be selling all our products and services the third step is the traffic that is driving traffic driving traffic means that we will be promoting content and we will be doing advertising so so that the people will end up visiting our platform when they visit our platform we have to make sure that they have such a good experience that they enjoy who we are and they want to come back to buy more so this is now our audience you can see this the traffic which comes is the audience so basically this is the formula to go from nothing to have an audience that is going to be the base income for business owners and freelancers and the results for the digital marketer clients in order to achieve this we need to start from the very beginning the first step is that we need to have an audience our own audience since we don't we have to understand who are our audience is we can start the business we can do this by understanding and learning market research and branding second step is that we need to build our platform 
that would be our website any facebook page insta page blog or optimizing it with the search engine optimization step 3 is how to drive traffic this has to be done by social media and uh, posting the contents email marketing posting advertisements and using google analytics to understand and get more traffic so market research now we are going to talk about market research and about how to find target audience there are three simple steps for that who the first step is finding out who your audience actually is and we have to gather information about them we have to find who are our audience Now basically our target audience is the audience who is interested in buying our product and services. Second step is figuring out where. That is where do we find our target audience? So even if you know who your audience is and if you don't know where they are, you won't be able to reach them without your marketing. With your marketing. So the second step is learning where your audience is. Third step is why. Why should people buy? Why should they? Uh, what we have to sell, and not from your competitor instead. To properly understand your audience, you need to understand what they actually want. You also have to understand that what your competitors are offering, so that you can offer something better than that. So our audience will buy from us instead of our competitor. So now we will move towards the first step that is finding your target audience. Now we will discuss how to find the target audience and just how important it is. Let me tell you how most people do the marketing. So most people have a product or service to sell and in today's example we are going to use gym membership. Basically what most people do in this situation is that they will market to everyone because they think the more people they market to the better results they are going to get so they put their time and money and energy into marketing everywhere now the problem with that is uh, that uh, not everyone is interested in our product or service so for example They are selling our gym membership only to two people who are actually interested in buying that gym membership, and uh, that is Mark and Lisa, because they are the only people who are actually interested, because they are only working like they are the people who are only working out. That means only two out of five people were properly marketed. We wasted our time, money, and energy here. and this is the biggest problem that people do in their marketing now what we need to do is find more people like mark and lisa we need to look at mark and lisa and understand their demographics what is the gender that most inter- that is most interested in your product or service what are the age span like 18 to 24 years old 25 to 36 years old or 50 to 60 years old what are their family standards what are their income status when we have understood we will understand who our audience actually is so with this information we can create something known as buyer's persona now the buyer's persona is your ideal customer that is a customer that is most likely to buy your products or services it contains all of the information such as their most representative gender age family status their income status so with this information that means instead of marketing to everyone like most people do we now have a buyer's persona that is our ideal customer that means instead of hitting only 2 out of 5 people we can now market to 5 out of 5 people 
because now we understood that who are our target audience and this is a, one of the biggest secret of effective marketing so in the next lecture we are going to learn that how to create your buyer's persona in order to take your marketing to the next level i hope you like this lecture if you are having some queries you can drop it in the comment section if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe stay tuned see you in the next lecture